Hi guys, welcome to Saturday afternoon in the newsroom. As you can see, it's buzzing. Actually, it's my favourite time of the week because I get more done on a Saturday than at any other time during the week. Um, I've been thinking about a couple of things I wanted to do and I thought I'd use this to explain the kind of thing I'm interested in. Uh, the first thing is I'd really like to add a video element to my Sunday technology blog. Now, I know, given my resemblance to the Hindenburg, I'm probably not the ideal visual representative of the company, but I am the ideal visual representative of my technology blog. So there's that. The second thing I've been thinking about is the general way we process videos, which right now is not the world's most efficacious, I think is the word. Now, it's not Sean's fault, he's doing what he can, but right now we have this incredible bottleneck where we're dependent on two things. One is Sean's schedule, which, you know, is what it is. He's not working weekends, and there are some days when he leaves early because he has to go and meet whatever family obligations he's got, and that's all fine. The second thing is the equipment in the studio Apparently only about two people in the building know how to use it. One of them's Sean, and the other one, I think, is Mel Pryor, who of course isn't here three days a week, and on the two days a week she is here, she's flat out doing other things. So what's happening is, particularly on the weekends, even if the photographer gets fresh video footage on a Saturday, it's not getting processed till Monday morning at the earliest. And very often during the week, we're adding videos to stories two days after they've been uploaded, the stories, that is. So I was thinking there has to be a, an easier, quicker, more uh, user-friendly way of doing it. This video I'm filming on my own equipment, which, you know, whatever. It's the, basically the same equipment as the photographers have. It's a little handheld Panasonic standard definition camera. But I've edited it uh, using a program called Windows Movie Maker, which if you've got um, any later version of Windows computer at home, you've already got on your computer. Um, it's a little more complicated than it sounds because depending on which version of Movie Maker you've got and how new your camera is, you have to convert the files into different formats, whatever. But the bottom line is, I filmed it myself, I've edited it in Windows Movie Maker, where you can add graphics, you can add transition effects, you can add mu music, and you can, you know, top and tail it with your own brand. Then I've converted it into a format that makes it easy to upload to YouTube. And of course, YouTube, we can easily embed into our stories. It doesn't take any special equipment, it doesn't take any particular software, you just use YouTube's own CMS and away you go. The, um, my thinking <laughs> is that why don't we like companies like the ABC, for example, why don't we create on YouTube our own channel? Now, I know Uncle Rupert probably won't like this idea because you can't make money out of it directly, but millions of people get to see your brand, they get to access your videos, and they also get told about your website, your newspaper, and there are knock-on effects. Also, once we've embedded our video into one of our stories, we can disable embedding on YouTube so that people can't effectively steal our videos and embed them in their own stories. Below this video, I've listed some links to some media organisations and political parties, for example, uh, channels on YouTube, so you can see the kind of thing I'm talking about. Now, I'm not suggesting we need to completely replace our video processing deal with this kind of DIY uh, process, or even DIY, but, for example, for me, if I want a video uh, component to my blog, I've got no other choice than to do it myself, because on Saturdays, there is no other choice. Um, I'm also suggesting that sometimes if there's a major event 
on the coast, I don't know, a huge accident, a huge fire, a huge incident in surface paradise, which can happen at any day, any time, perhaps this way of doing it, having obviously the equipment we've got camera-wise, having software like Windows Movie Maker, having YouTube means that within an hour to two hours, depending on formats, you know, what fancy bits of graphics and branding you want on it, we can have it up in a story, done, no worries. The quality in terms of resolution might not be brilliant, and I think you'll notice that the sound on this is not brilliant, but it's something, and it's something we don't have to wait two days for to get. Um, so there you go. Sorry to inflict jab of the heart on you over breakfast or whatever time you're watching this. And I'm sure, you know, it being Monday, probably, you're thinking, oh God, I had a cake free day. And now you don't. Sorry. Anyway, that's my thinking. Don't know what you think. I'd like to, if possible, start my vlog component from next week, if you're agreeable to that. Um, otherwise, I'll crawl back under my rock. See you guys. Bye. Bye.